Hello everyone. How are you all? Hoping you all, no, actually not hoping. I know you all are fantastic. So welcome back to our knowledge session. And today we will be covering from chapter five to chapter eight. So all of you are excited? Okay, let's get started. Yes, so today we'll be exploring wonders in knowledge. Yes, so here we go. Okay, just a second. So let me read it for you. Knowledge is power and information is liberating. Education is the premise of progress in every society, in every family. So in today's session, we are going to enjoy a few topics and that are first, different hospital departments, then we'll be having a logo quiz, then greatest painters of the era. And last but not least, nicknames of some famous people. Okay, so class, uh, let's begin with some different hospital departments. For that, uh, students, I just want to tell you whenever we visit a hospital, right, we usually get confused because like there are so many departments and we usually get confused where to go, which doctor to show, right, because we have enormous number of departments when it comes to medical field. I would like to introduce with some of the departments and some of the categories of the doctors, like we have pediatrician right, which take care of primary health of the children, including immunizations, well baby checks. Then we have obstetrician, gynecologist, C-class. A gynecologist is a doctor who specializes in women health. And obstetrician provides care for women that are pregnant, are trained to deliver babies. Then we have psychiatrist, we have cardiologist, we have dermatologist, we have endocrinologist, we have gastroenterologist, and there are nephrologists, radiologists, ophthalmologists. So there are like, I just have told you that since there are enormous number of departments, so it's very important for all of us to know that uh, if we have, uh, sometimes we have a blood related problem, sometimes we have some um, kidney related problem, heart related problem, then in which department we should show. So here comes the first category. DASH provides medical care to patients who have heart or circulation problems. So in this case, we are showing in a cardiology department. So the first would be cardiology. Second, it investigates and treats digestive and upper and lower gastrointestinal diseases. So, it is gastroenterology. And in the help box class, you can see the spellings also gastroenterology. Now, moving towards the third, it works with the laboratory. In addition, doctors treat blood diseases and hostilities related to the blood. So whenever it comes to a blood related problem, then whom we are going or in which department we are going to show, we are going to show in a hematology department. Then it monitors and assesses patients with various kidney problems and conditions. So in that case, we have a nephrology department. And the last, it provides maternity services. Like I have told you, we have obstetrics, we have gynecology, right, for this department. Now class, let's just move towards some logo, trademarks, trade name, branding, you know. In this uh, age, we are very much fascinated towards the brands, the logos. So we can name some of them. Like for example, if we think of a burger, so the first thing that comes into our mind would be a McDonald's burger. Right. And if uh, sometimes when we would like to have a cup of coffee, then we just don't go for a random coffee shop nearby. We would preferably go to a coffee shop like uh, we have Starbucks, Costa Coffee, Cafe Coffee Day. Right. And when you think of a phone, then you obviously get the answer of an iPhone, Apple iPhone. 
then we have some luxurious cars we have audi we have lexus we have lamborghini we have porsche so audi so there are n number of varieties but we remember them with the most uh, you know attractive brand name they have right so it's very important for all of us to know the brands and the logos so for which brand which logo is being used as their trademark so the first we have apple yes then the second is your british petroleum then the third is a popular coffee shop a uh, coffee logo which is of starbucks then third it is wwf then we have i guess all of you know it right yes it's mcdonalds then we have yes it's a brand of a jeans yes it's levi's then we have nestle eighth is your hot wheels you might have played with hot wheel cars when you were young when you were right and then last but not the least we have logo of audi right now moving towards some greatest painters right and when we'll be talking of painters how could we forget some greatest art pieces of the era which are you know we have mona lisa the last supper we couldn't even forget the modern indian painters artwork of uh, mother teresa the ramayana then we have water lilies women in garden then we have some other mexican artists which were working inspired by the nature and artifacts of mexico so one by one we'll be studying about all of them and just know that who were all the greatest painters right so the first one is a mexican artist yes and she is a feminist icon her most famous works are the many surrealistic self portrait and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of mexico so for this we have frida kahlo then we have a spanish painter of modern art and his most famous works include gandika and bird of peace and the painter name is pablo picasso yes class so the next one is a dutch painter and he is basically known for being psychologically unstable but yet his artwork despite of him people calling some psychologically unstable person but his artwork was most famous uh, uh, at that time right and he was among the most famous artist of all that time so he the name of this painter is winse wo kok right winse wo kok then we have the next painter yes scientist and inventor painter he is one of the most iconic painters in the world who is famous for his works and yes you all are well aware of this painting mona lisa and the last supper and the painter is i guess you all know it right yes the painter name is leonardo da vinci leonardo da vinci right now moving towards the next painter we have as an italian renaissance oh, sorry renaissance painter sculptor and architect he is most famous for his epic ceiling mural on the sistine chapel and the name of that famous painter is michael angelo right michael angelo the next is a norwegian painter and his best work was the scream right and he was active more than 60 years of his life and he was painting throughout like more than 60 years of his life he was creating some modernism art magnificent magn most significant art piece of that time and his name is edward munch okay now we have a french impressionist painter he is famous for his paintings few of which are water lilies now you can see in his painting also women in garden and impression sunrise and his name is claude monet claude monet now you can uh, refer to the help box for the spelling next and the last one the greatest painter he was a modern indian painter class he was a modern indian painter 
and his themes include Mohandas, Karamchand, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, and the Ramayana. And you can guess his name. Yes? Yes. He is M. F. Hussain. Right. Now, uh, we uh, let's move towards the nicknames of famous people. So you might know the real name, but uh, they are also famous with their nicknames, right? So the first we have, the most famous is William Shakespeare. And, he's, and, and his nickname is Bard of Evan. Then we have Ho Chi Minh. And his famous nickname was Uncle Ho. Then we have Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, also known as Father of the Nation. The fourth we have Adolf Hitler, and also known as Führer. Then we have John of Arc, and he is also famous with his nickname, the Maid of Orleans. Next we have Jawaharlal Nehru, also known as or also known by the name of Chacha Nehru. Then we have Rabindranath Tagore, also known as Gurudev, right? Now, moving towards some more famous people and their nicknames. Yes, Napoleon Bonaparte. He's also famous with his nickname, which is Little Corporal. We have Florence Nightingale, also known as the Lady with the Lamp. We have Vallabhai Patel, also known as Iron Man of India. Yes, Vallabhai Patel is also known as Iron Man of India. We have Swami Vivekanand, also known as Hindu Monk. Okay, next we have Nelson Mandela, also known as Madiba. Then we have Benito Mussolini, also known by his nickname, which is Iron Perfect. Then we have John Henry Anderson, also known as Wizard of North. We have Queen Elizabeth I, also known as the Virgin Queen. Right? So all of you enjoyed this session? Yes? All right. Even I enjoyed it, teaching you. So I would like to thank you all. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.